When Jen asked me to do this play, when she asked me to read it, I was just completely blown away by the story. We couldn't believe it when we discovered this unbelievable work by William Inge, which hasn't been seen in New York since its original production 50 years ago. No, you, you don't feel pity for anyone in this life until he's through. It's washed up, had it. I want something I can keep. Well, so does everyone else in the world. Well, Mama Lion goes out and bags supper while Papa Lion sits back on his haunches looking handsome and regal. That's me, Mama Lion. Don't be vulgar. Where's my vodka, Bernie? Just a minute, bitch. Oh, some music. Let's play some music. It's, it's a very profound thing because all the characters in this play are, have a desperate need to, to connect with not just one another, but just life in general. And once they do connect, the charge of the connection, the terror that comes with the connection, is is often too too hard for them to handle. Shut up! He'll hear you! He won't hear me. He's across the hall, banging Claire. We're going to get him. Now, why don't you let him stay there? Have a little fun. Ah! Stop it! Don't stop it, I say! Huh? Get your hands off, you big ape! Not a freak, you! My mom runs things in the party! You let him on, Daddy! And I've seen it now about five times, and every time I watch it, the end just leaves me speechless. It was really touching and and interesting to read someone 50 years ago talking about so vividly about what's going on really today. Nothing's built to last anymore. You know why? Because we don't think we're gonna last much longer in this world. I haven't been this excited about working on a play in a long, long time. I think we all feel a real responsibility to William Inge to tell it well and to do these characters justice, and all of our hearts are in it.